What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back working on the S14 project. We're going to be doing some wiring today. So just to go over what we got going on with this, this is a 240SX uh, 1995 and we're doing a 5.3 swap on it. And let me just show you something we just got for it. Oh, oh, oh. There. We got some hood struts instead of the old, you know, little bar thing. Actually, we've been using a golf club to hold it up. I think it hit Tyler in the head. Um, but yeah, so it's time to do the wiring and this thing is going to be running a Holly setup. So it'll be a standalone engine management. And as I got the car and went through the interior, uh, basically I decided that we just cut out the entire harness. The person before me, I guess they, or whoever it was, um, they were going to do a relocation of the battery to the rear. Um, that involved bringing a lot of the harness back, um, so it had to be cut and spliced. Um, so there was a lot of stuff everywhere. Instead of trying to figure, figure all that out, I decided I'm going to rewire the entire thing. So um, I got a little diagram I drew up here on the board, and we'll try and explain what I'm going to do with everything, and then show you guys my panels that I make. And we'll go through that really quick. All right, so we got my little drawing here. Excuse me for not being so great, but I'm gonna do my best to kind of explain what we got going on. So right here in the middle, this is the panels that I build. I'll show you one right here. This is what we're gonna to use to wire everything up. And let's go ahead. All right, so we'll explain. This is my key up here. I got five switches that'll be in the top of the dash. I got another switch that'll be here. This will be a USB charge my phone, um, turn signals rocker um, two ways. You got a, a 200 amp relay here. This is my battery. And then this is simulating my gas tank um, level gauge. And then the gauge is up there. So we'll start the battery here. Obviously the battery is grounded. Running from the battery, this will be a at least four gauge wire, maybe, maybe a little bit larger. And that'll run into the large post on this relay. And then the lar other large post will run over to the positive on the panel here. And then on the other side of the panel, you will run to negative. So I'll show you that here. We've got our negative post here and our positive post on this side. This is our relay setup. And we're going to run into here and then out on the other side, or I should say this side, through our relay. We continue going so this will also be grounded and then i'm going to run 12 volts or let's uh let's go back over here so i have a, a small um, 12 volt signal wire up to our ignition switch that'll be on our key so we'll hit key one which will give us um uh, power through here to our relay so once we get power to our big relay that'll send power to the entire board so now we'll have power here and then also this will also have a splice to send 12 volt signals to our switches. So once we turn to signal one, I will be able to turn on stuff from my switches. All right, so let's let's see. So position two on our switch will be our start. Uh, so that'll run off of our uh, 12 volts to one side on the panel. And then the same thing will happen with all of our switches up here. So. Um, depending on what they are, like I got uh, turn signals, which will run to here. Um, our fans, that'll actually have a splice in it so that one switch will turn on both of them for right now. I might switch it later to the Holly, but for right now, one switch is gonna turn on both fans. And you see, I have the jumper, so we'll come in with one and that'll turn on both relays. Next, we got um, the Holly, obviously, and then the, the starter is on the switch or on the key. Uh, we got fuel, lights, brakes, so brakes I don't have running up to the switch because that will run off of the brake pedal switch. And then I'll have three extras here, which will be, we're going to wire into the system so they're already up here, ready to be used, uh, but it won't have anything coming out of that side. And then also I'm going to have um, another wire going up to the gas gauge so that I know the level in the tank. So I added that to this just so I could look at this whole thing and decide, okay, how many wires do I need to run from the panel, which is going to be located in the back, 
all the way up to the switches, which will be in the front. So I can come over here and say, okay, I need one wire for my gas tank, 12 volts from my battery to get to my key. Um, another one down to my big relay. Uh, so that's three. We got the Holly four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we'll need nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm gonna need 14 wires to run from the panel up to the switches. So I'll show you here. Um, so we'll have 14 different wires coming in. Um, they will all come in on this side of my panel. Um, this is the switch side, and then this will be the outputs. So this will run out to my uh, holly, run out to the starter, run out to the fans, or we'll have two to the fans. Um, we'll run out to our lights, to our fuel pump. Um, so that'll make it all really easy. All our fuses are stored in here. If any of the fuses blow, these lights will light up. Um, over here, I just made a quick little um, board to hold the 200 amp relay, which is going to obviously supply power to this. Um, this is basically, you could do this a couple different ways. You don't have to use these all the time. Um, for my S13, instead of using an actual relay that goes off of the keyed ignition switch, I used just a, a generic um, battery cutoff that you can get on Amazon and that I have running in between the panels. So I ran that all the way up to the front and then back to the panel and then it has like a, a big red knob key that you use for that. So that makes it a lot simpler. This, I need to bring power to the key and then power back to this to activate this so that everything else can turn on. These two are flasher relays, so this will just go in between my turn signals to make them flash. And then over here, which we actually sell with some of our kits on the website, um, is just a bunch of wire. So this is 200 feet. Um, you get 25 feet of eight different colors, and we can give it to you in, if I can focus on this, um, colors with stripes, and then also just solid colors. So most of our uh, six-way kits can come with that. So shameless plug, I do make a 12-way, a 10-way, a bunch, or an eight-way, a few different six-ways. So I have a couple that are smaller. Um, I think a four-way and a three-way. All these do come with instructions, but I thought it might help to go through this really quick and then explain it on here. But super simple to wire it up. And then actually here, let's explain this. A lot of the switches sell already come pre-wired. So basically what you'll do is you'll wire ground and then um, 12 volts ignition, which is coming from right here, our key over. And then since it's all wired, you basically just come right out of these switches here. And this is what comes straight to the panel. So you'll have 12 volts up here. This one has, I'll show you, it has two of them because this is a double rocker but most are just a single rocker and that has the one prong output so right from switches to the white side or white wires on the panel and then it's good to follow so you can follow this one okay it goes into this relay follow that one and this is your output so then this will be output let's say this is our fans which actually it is this will supply power to the fan and then also the one next to it so we'll have two out for our fans because usually the fans actually draw a little bit more so that's the quick and dirty on the panels. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, I might split up the video a little bit, we'll see, but any questions on the panels that I make, um, the link is in the description to buy those, and then usually questions is best to either email me, or even better on Instagram, um, aired out or aired out racing, I can answer all your questions there, help you through wiring it. Um, so this is not the only way you can wire stuff up. This is just the way I mostly do it. And then, you know, the panel that I make makes it super simple. Just run what your uh, switches, your wires in, and you're good to go. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to start working on getting the harness or all of the wires built from the front to the back. And then once everything's kind of wired in, we'll go back there and take a look at that. Um, but I'll probably cut it short here um, for people who are just interested in the panel stuff. So... Our daily videos for the 240 will keep going from here. All right, so hopefully I did a good job explaining it, kind of what was going on on the board. Um, video got a little bit longer, so I think I'm gonna split it into two parts. Um, I almost have it completely wired into the car, so that'll be in part two. I'll show you actually how it gets implemented versus just looking at it 
kind of dr drawn out. So that's it for part one. Uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe and uh, tell your friends and we'll see you in part two.